How's it going everybody? Shockwave984 here. Today is going to be an anime collection video. And this is going to be on a series that the last set that I needed uh, just came, came in uh, earlier this week. And that is Naruto Shippuden. So with that, let's go ahead and get started because we got quite a bit to show here. Uh, it's 38 box sets total. And uh, yeah, I just decided to go ahead and... Um, um, start collecting it and, and went ahead and finished it. I did find some already uh, while they were on sale and then just decided to go ahead and get the rest of it. So first off, we're gonna um, let you guys know about this uh, pre-order that I just saw. And uh, so you have the Rasengan collection for the first uh, few movies, or excuse me, first few movies, first four. And there is a new one which collects these, Blood Prison, uh, Road to Ninja, The Last, and Boruto, uh, Naruto the Movie. So there is another set which is like this that collects these four. So just thought I'd throw that out there uh, for you guys. So yeah, just saw that uh, go up, I think, um, towards the end of last month, I think. All right, so I'm going to see, I think I'm going to do four at a time because there is quite a bit. So first up is the first four sets. These are uh, thin pack uh, collections. So here is box set one. And here is the back. So two, or after two and a half years of training with Jiraiya, we have Naruto who returns. This is a three disc uh, set. Uh, you do get the uh, English dub and the uh, Japanese sub, 2.0. And uh, this will give you episodes 1 to 13, or 1 to 13. Um, that's the main thing with Shippuden, um, as far as like these releases go, pretty much, uh, you know, um, you just don't get a lot of episodes, unfortunately. So this took me a while to decide whether or not, okay, do I try to get these? Or, uh, there are these UK sets that, uh, um, I actually got a comment about. I want to thank the person who, uh, suggested those. Um, those have, I think, about 50, maybe 100 episodes each. Um, so those, I think, are available. It just kind of depends on where you look. I know, uh, Zavi, uh, has some of them, but I don't think they had all of them. So, yeah, but as far as, like, regular uh, releases, like, out here in the States, this is, like, the main, these are the main ones. And these first four are in these uh, really nice uh, thin pack sets. There are other editions where you get, like, a little, um, what is it, like, a little figure. And then here's this three. And, um, yeah. But these are really nice. Oops, got it backwards. So there's one. Here is two. So I'm going to try and speed through these <laughs> as uh, best I can. Oh, let's switch that around. All right. And you see it looks like a little cloud. And here's the back. And you do get special features on each set, which is very nice. All right. So there it is, number four. And then on the back, it'll give you the episodes. So, uh, actually, uh, oh, questions. So, uh, feel free to let me know about these in the comments below. Uh, you know, who is your favorite character? Uh, this is, this is for both part one and, uh, Shippuden just pretty much all over. Uh, who is your favorite, uh, as far as hero, villain? Which team is your favorite? Which village? Uh, you know, do you like the Akatsuki? You know, this is pretty much like their series in a way, because they finally go on the move, uh, in Shippuden. Um, also... Uh, what do you guys think of all the Jin Karuki? All the different ones that we get to see. All the Tailed Beast. All the other ones. You know, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Curious to find out. Alright. So there is box set two. Oh, 
those in there. Okay. And then here's box set three. Here's the back. So yeah, I thought I'd go ahead and uh, I might end up doing two parts for this, but I'm going to see if I could possibly do it all in one go. <laughs> just to, because uh, I thought about maybe just showing these like on the uh, bookshelf that I got a while back. Um, but I thought it'd be better just to show all the covers and everything, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just thought it'd be, uh, you know, a little funner. All right, so there's number eight. And there's a disc. There is number nine. And once again, it's a really nice day. So uh, this is in the morning uh, when I'm doing this because uh, I was going to try and do it the other day. Uh, but the, the weather was kind of going back and forth, so, plus, just wanted a day to just chill. Alright, so here is box set four. So this is where the thin packs stop, um, unfortunately. Uh, because these are really nice sets, they really are. But you can still get these new. Um, also, uh, so... All these sets uh, that I'm going to show today are all new. None of these are secondhand. Um, I did uh, find a bunch of them. You can still find them uh, uh, used like copies. Uh, some of the lowest ones I found were only like, I think like 10 bucks, like $9.98. Uh, some of them were about 15 or maybe 19 But I think that's because of condition. Uh, that's one of the things you want to look for. If you are going to try and find them, you know, like, say, at a second-hand place or anything like that, um, you know, just see how the condition looks. Because I remember finding box set three, uh, the one with uh, Gara, and the back of it was pretty torn up. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, I'm sure maybe the discs were okay, but, uh, you know, I couldn't open it or anything because it's in, like, a plastic container. So, and, uh, yeah, that's another kind of thing with these sets they can be very expensive so I'll get more into that as we go along here so all right just to give you guys some more info because you guys are awesome <laughs> you guys make this channel really cool really fun all right so that does it for all the thin packs and uh, yeah so you can get them like this um, as far as I know I don't think there's a repackaged version of these uh, I know one on Amazon said it was. I think it was uh, the second one. But uh, these I got off of Right Stuff. And there are other versions where you get like a little figure. So. Alright. So the next. Oh, whoa, whoa. Sorry about that. <laughs> I think I hit the camera. Alright. So the next four is five, six, seven, and eight. So now, uh, these are still three disc, uh, sets, and some of them do come with slick covers. I do apologize for that, guys. Didn't mean to hit the camera there. And then, uh, the back shows the story details, episodes, special features. And this one does have a slick cover, so it looks real, real nice. And the back is the same. And they will pretty much just look like this. There might be other versions where the trays are a little bit different. So, so there is five. Here is number six. Yeah, I just thought it'd be better. That way you guys can see all the covers and stuff and see all the different discs, all the designs and everything. So this might be kind of a long one, <laughs> just so you guys know. All right. There goes number six. Here is number seven. And there are the discs. They all have different designs. Um, some do reuse them. 
reuse other ones, but uh, the colors are all kind of different. So it does look uh, pretty nice. You know, you get different variety. Here's number eight. Or eight. Sorry, I think I said A. Or all the disc. All right. So there goes those four. And let's go ahead and show five. Okay, so here is nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. So pricing. Uh, I think I almost forgot to mention that. <laughs> Uh, so these, I pretty much got these on sale, um, mostly on Amazon and Right Stuff, if you're curious as to where I got these. Um, but I did find them used secondhand quite a bit, but that was before I decided, you know, to go ahead and, um, try and collect them. Because, uh, it is a lot of sets. It's 38 total. So, you know, it's a big kind of commitment. <laughs> In a way, this one, uh, Volume 10, you get two bonus episodes, Kakashi Chronicles. And the artwork on these is really nice, really cool. And uh, so these I mostly got, they were about $20 to $22, $24. That's on Amazon because um, the prices did like kind of fluctuate back and forth. Um, and... Just so you're aware, some of these were ridiculously high. Uh, this is volume 11. You get the uh, Jiraiya Ninja Scrolls. <clears throat> Excuse me, a little special on there. Um, some of these were at least, what was it, 33 uh, to like $44 or something like that. Like 30 to 40 bucks each. Uh, so definitely try and get them while they're on sale. Because you're only getting up to about 12 to 13 episodes each per set. So, um, yeah, they're mostly 13 episodes. So, yeah, it, it's, that's kind of the big thing. This is like the, um, the Voyager sets for One Piece. How you only had those until they came out for the or until they came out with the collection sets, which combines uh, two Voyagers in one. So you know, unfortunately, that hasn't happened with this with uh, Shippuden. Maybe sometime down the road, because uh, you know we did finally uh, releasing the last volume. It came out uh, quite a while ago. I think it was last year. Or the year before? Something like that? Yeah. So the last one's been out. It's been finished uh, releasing. So, yeah. It's been out for a while. But Alright. Alright, so we're making good time here. Good pace. Alright, so here is 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And, uh, also, so, uh, yeah, some of these I got off of Right Stuff because they had a sale, uh, Volume 14 has a Hokage's Legacy. Um, it was the, uh, what was it, Naruto 20th Anniversary sale, but it was kind of weird. Not all the sets were on sale. It was only, like, a select amount, or select few, and it was mostly... I would say towards the end of Shippuden, like mostly the latter half, like the later sets. So yeah, that was kind of weird. <laughs> it wasn't like all of it. Uh, Boruto was on sale, um, both DD and Blu-ray. Uh, I think the regular Naruto on cut box sets were on sale. I don't really remember seeing those, but mostly Shippuden was. And I think the manga was as well too. All right, so volume 15 is where the three disc sets stop. And also what you're going to notice is that you you see 16 by 9 right here. So it goes from 4 by 3 with the black bars on the sides to uh, 16 by 9. I'm going to guess that's maybe that's how it was uh, broadcasted eventually. So, uh, as far as uh, quality goes, you know, even though these are just uh, DVD, very good quality. 
Uh, Shippuden looks great. Uh, even, you know, part one on uh, DVD looks, looks just fine. Looks awesome. And... Okay, so there's 17. So yeah, quality is good. Uh, the the audio is pretty much 2.0 on all of them, um, both English and uh, Japanese tracks. Uh, English dub, you know, sounds good. You know, for what it is, I think they got better as they went along. You know, there are some voices that kind of sound a little odd, <laughs> uh, especially if you're uh, excuse me coming off the you know the Japanese stuff because that's originally how I watched it, also with part one, and then watched the. Uh, dub later when it came out um but overall it's uh it's not bad it's pretty good so here is 18 all right oh whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah so sometimes you might encounter that okay so just be aware you might have this where one has a hook and the other doesn't like one side has it and the other is kind of busted. This is okay. So we're good. <laughs> but just be aware of that. Because, uh, you know, they're just regular, basic beauty cases. So, All right. Okay. No edits. We're moving on. <laughs> we're moving on. <clears throat> All right. So here is volumes. Let's go another five. So 19... 20, 21, 22, and 23. So here is 19. That's a cool shot. Yeah, the artwork on these is very well done. Very made, or well made. Really cool. All right. Another two disc. So yeah, overall, what did you guys think of uh, Naruto Shippuden, you know, coming off of part one? Uh, you know, did you guys enjoy it? Do you guys think the, uh, what do you guys think of the Ninja War, too? And, um, you know, the different Jinkaruki, all that stuff. Feel free to let me know in the comments below. And also, what do you guys think of, uh, Naruto in general? You know, just as a series, as a whole. And also, have you read the manga? Because I have not. Uh, the only one that we have... We have volume one of the original series of uh, part one. And uh, that's the only one we have. I think we just got it like randomly. I think it was at like a convention or something. Um, I think one of my brothers got it like to check it out. Here is 22. So yeah, feel free to let me know. And I believe all the manga is like available for both parts in like these big uh, sets. These big box sets. They do look really nice. Alright. And here is volume 23. So just as an example of pricing earlier, this one is like $40. I think on, um, what is it, right stuff. And then on Amazon it was like $44. But luckily I got it on sale. So just to give you guys an example, it, it's really weird like it's mostly like the later volumes are much higher so I'm not sure if there was like a chance they were going out of print or something but these have been out for quite a while so yeah um, and as far as I know all of these are still in print it, it they are all still available all right get another five here so 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. And uh, as far as uh, the slip covers go, uh, like like with five and six, and then uh, there are some other ones later on, they can be hit and miss. Um, all these, uh, as I mentioned earlier, are new. Um, some came with covers and some didn't. So I'm not sure if all of them are supposed to have slip covers, the ones after, uh, you know, the thin, the thin pack sets. Uh, but uh, yeah, some did and some no, or some didn't. But uh, overall, still pretty good. The artwork's really nice. Yeah, like there's another example. 
I see one side and it's broken off so just be careful so yeah I was hoping that we would get another set like the um, or get a get an addition like say the FYE box set that I did do a video for feel free to check that out um, that's a really cool set you get the whole series of part one and there's a new edition that uh, like a newer version that came out with the three movies because the version I have is the first one and so volume 26 I believe is the start of the uh, background artwork reverse artwork which looks really cool and it did start to have like a more clear look looks very nice and uh, so also if you see them in black and clear cases you should be okay so they should be like uh, you know legit sets because uh, you get you get them in different different ones, and here's one of the ones with the slick cover. Here is 27, or one of the other ones I have the slick cover. That is really nice, really cool. And then underneath this one is the same, but some of them do have uh, alternate artwork underneath. And these did come with like little pamphlets and stuff. It was just mostly about the manga and uh, like reading Shonen Jump and stuff like that. But... Alright. So there goes 27. And next up is 28. This one also has a slip cover. Uh, I believe it's just Kakashi with his uh, headband and stuff. And then underneath it's like him like when he was younger. Like, the cover is him when he was older, and then, yeah. And this is one of my favorite disc designs. This is cool, with the Ombu mask. On one side, that is awesome. Alright. So there goes those five. And we are heading down to the end here. So, 29, uh, 30, 31, 32, and 33. And all these just happen to have their covers, which is really cool. So here is 29. And the alternate cover for this one is just right here. There you see the original team that we follow in part one, along with all the others. That is awesome. Back is the same. And on the inside, reverse artwork. And there are the discs. So yeah, if you think about, uh, you know, collecting, um, should put in, you know, just thought I'd throw out, you know, as much info as possible. Yeah, uh, you know, just to help you guys out. Uh, cause you guys are awesome. You guys are really cool. And, uh, you know, should put in, um, overall, I think it's really cool. It's really fun. Uh, you know, just coming off of part one, knowing that the story was going to continue, you know, and, and it's just incredible what they did. There's the underneath cover for volume 30. And uh, Madara. What did you guys think of Madara? Especially when he takes on the Shinobi Alliance. That was incredible. I love that shot where I think he jumps down. This one does have reverse artwork just on a black case. And I don't know if you guys can see that right there. Um, and... His, you see his eyes moving. They're all glowing red. Uh, we, he has a sharring gun. And the movement of his eyes in that scene is just... That's just scary. <laughs> in a way, it's like, oh, man. He's surveying the whole battlefield. So what do you guys think of him? Here is uh, volume 31. There's the reverse... Or not reverse cover. Underneath. Back is the same. And then here's the inside. Here are the disc. I do apologize if there is, uh, you know, car noises and stuff. You know, it's it's in the morning. But, uh, yeah, I thought I'd go ahead and decide to do it earlier on. So, yeah, because it tends to get real busy <laughs> later on. Or real uh, kind of loud. People are outside and stuff. So here is volume 13. Or not 13, 32. <laughs> I apologize. 
All right. Okay. And then here's the inside. Get a nice blue. That looks really good. Okay. And here is 33. Now, can you find these in store? You might only be able to find like the latest releases. So since the series is already, uh, you know, done being released, uh, you mostly might find the last two volumes, which is 37 and 38. Um, that's a good shot of a mite guy. Uh, kind of looks like a Kuma from Street Fighter. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, as far as in store, not so much. As far as like regular retailers. Um, but uh, as far as secondhand stores go, you might find a bunch of them like Half Price Books. Uh, probably has some, um, or they can order them in. Uh, the other place I go to is called Rasputin Music. There's also another one called Amoeba Music. They sell a bunch of used UDs and stuff. I have found some of them there. So, you know, just kind of search around. All right, so we are down to the last five sets. So 34, 35... 36, 37, and 38. Okay, so here's 34. And this is cool. This one does have a slick cover, unfortunately, just didn't get it, but it's okay. And here's the disc. All right, here is 35. Like, I think the cover for 34 is, like, Sage Mode uh, Naruto. And this one has him in, like, Samurai, like, armor. There's a fox. That looks pretty cool. Here's the underneath cover. And let it clear. All right. And there goes the disc. And here is volume 36. This has an awesome cover. So uh, here's the back. This one you get a uh, interview with the cast of Boruto, uh, Naruto the movie that was coming out at the time. And so here is the cover on one side and then here's the left. So right and left. And look at that. That is cool. Very happy to have the cover for this one. That is awesome. And the disc. Okay. And down to the last two. So here is uh, 37. And here is the back. The lighting's kind of going, um, getting kind of weird, so it might change from blue to regular. So, I do apologize about that. I think it's because of the way the light shines in. And that's a good one. There's the back, it's the same. And here are the discs. Okay. And finally. Volume 38, which brings you to episode 500, which is the end. Or, excuse me, which is the end. So, here it is, the final box set. So, in store, mostly, uh, like I saw these at Best Buy, it's mostly these two. So, because I think as they were releasing, um, you know, you you might only find, like, the, the latest sets that came out at the time. So, yeah. All right. Here's the underneath cover, and this goes with this pretty well. Has a very special event that happens towards the end there. And here are the disc. And the reverse artwork is pretty much what I just showed, so I'll just go ahead and show it again here. That is cool. Seen all these characters. Once again, 
All right. And with that, that does it for Naruto Shippuden, the complete series. Awesome, awesome sets. So let's go ahead and display these. So, okay. So let's go the last one right there. And this one right there and do these and it might be a different picture uh once i do the uh thumbnail so all right Okay, and they all look uh, good together. So that is Naruto Shippuden, the complete series. And uh, yeah, so unfortunately, they are still available. Or not, well, not unfortunately, they are still available. Um, it's not in a set like this. <clears throat> Excuse me. They are not in a set like this. This is by FYE. I did do a video on this. Uh, this particular set, I'm not sure if this one is still available because the new one... As I mentioned earlier, it has the, the three movies in like one DVD case. So that's the newer one. Um, it has newer artwork and stuff. Uh, and I believe that is still available on, uh, uh, or from FYE. So yeah, hoping maybe one day we might still get a set like this for Shippuden. Uh, knowing it's 500 episodes, <laughs> it might be like two or three of these. So, uh, but either way, you know, I think it'd be cool to have. Uh, but are these sets still available? Yes, they are. So just be very careful of uh, pricing because they can be, you know, very, very pricey depending on where you look. So, yeah. And if you get them used or, you know, anything like that. So with that, like the video if you do, subscribe if you like. And have you guys seen all of, uh, or seen Shippuden or Naruto in general? Feel free to let me know in the comments below. And also those questions, you know, favorite fight. Favorite uh, hero, villain, team, village. Uh, you know, what you guys think of the Akatsuki. All the different tailed beasts that we finally got to see. You know, got to see all of them. Um, the different Jinkarukis that contain that that they are contained in. And, uh, yeah, what do you guys think of all the results from Shippuden 2? You know, heading into, uh, you know, Boruto, the next generation. You know, what do you guys think of the ending and stuff? So with that, I'll see you guys next time.